Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. This is a video introducing some of the things that you'll see in the new Reaper 6 default theme. I'll eventually be doing a more detailed video because there's a lot to see. So this is just an introduction. If you have a theme you prefer from a previous version, you can still keep using that theme. Nothing has changed, but you might want to check this out because there's some really great and useful features here. Now, because computer monitors are getting really bright, this theme's a little darker, but not when it comes to custom colors, which can be bright if you really like bright colors. So if you want to make some tracks in your project really stand out, now we can do that. This also might mean that you want to make your usual color choices a little dimmer, but the choice is yours. When you first open the theme, you might be wondering where some of the controls are. That's because this theme hides some of the controls on the track panels if the mixer is open. So you don't have to search through duplicate controls on the tracks if you prefer to do your mixing on the mixer. And if you prefer to see all the controls all the time, that's not a problem. Just switch to layout B. In Reaper version 6, high DPI and retina screens are now supported. And that's done by adding graphics of different resolutions inside a theme. The new default 6 theme supports three sizes, 100%, 150%, and 200%, which is what Retina is. So it could show the nearest size to suit your screen. No more blurriness. And since the other sizes are there, Reaper gives you the option to use them as well. If you want to make some tracks or the transport bigger or smaller, you can do that with layouts. So if you have a normal resolution screen, you get two bigger sizes, 150% and 200%. But if you have a 200% or retina screen, Reaper will automatically make that your 100%. And you get a choice of two smaller sizes, 50% and 75%. The other really new thing with this theme is you can customize it using a script. Go to Options and choose Themes and Theme Adjuster to open up the script. Now, I'm not going to go through all the incredible things it can do right now, but you should try it out. You can change the size of some controls and the meters. You can change the folder indenting even on the mixer. And you can even make the theme hide or show different controls depending on what you're doing. Okay, so that's it for now. Enjoy Reaper 6. Thanks. Mom!